Hey everybody, Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review. This is sort of a dual review. On the left hand side we have the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker from uh, the first Star Wars movie A New Hope. Uh, this toy is brought to you by uh, ToySource.com manufactured by Bandai. On the right we have the Black Series Star Wars Luke Skywalker um, brought to you by my pocketbook because I paid cash for him out of my own wallet. Alright, so with that being said, uh, I'm going to go through both of them. And, I mean, you can just see right now which one is the superior figure. Now, there is a dollar to value ratio going on here in that the Black Series 1 cost $20. Figure Arts 1 cost much more. It's really hard to compare the two, but we're going to do it. So we're going to start out actually with the uh, the Black Series Luke and uh, we'll go from there. So the facial sculpt on Luke on the Black Series is not bad. It's not great, it's not bad. There's a ball joint uh, under the neck but there's only one joint so. Uh, the tunic or shirt or whatever you want to call it is what we call in Star Wars collecting circles uh, soft goods and in some cases it's really effective in other cases it sucks guess which case this is yeah it kind of sucks it's like twice the size of what it should be uh, there's no weathering on it it's just a stark white ill-fitting cloak and it's hard to really tell now but the the belt is is riding way too high but it doesn't really go any lower due to the size and uh, where it sits on the hips. There are, uh, you know, double joints in the elbows, so you can, you know, you actually get a really good articulation out of it. Uh, you have joints in the wrists that hinge and rotate. Shoulders are nice, so you're not really losing any articulation on the figure with the, the cloth, but it just sort of is a bit limiting. Uh, the belt is reasonably accurate. You've got the little, uh, I think this is to, for the, the calm to talk. Uh, the belt has a little hook for the lightsaber and some various pouches and it's got this large pouch on the side here. Uh, if you want to look up his skirt you can see that it's just still the, the tan colored uh, outfit and he does have a flesh base under there. You have your typical um, Star Wars Black Series double jointed knees with those kind of big holes in the, the floating kneecap which I mean is alright I'm not a huge fan but I'm also not going to lose any sleep over it uh, the feet are nicely detailed and accurate with uh, you've got your sort of swivel here and then it goes forward and back and the requisite holes on the bottom so that's Luke in a nutshell from the Black Series uh, Black Series Luke also comes with a pair of uh, macro binoculars, I think that's what they're called, when he was scanning the horizon of Tatooine looking for the droids. Because these binoculars do have a clip so you can actually clip them on his belt. That's a nice touch. There is of course a blue lightsaber. Um, it has a big hook at the end which is needed to hook onto the belt. It's sort of not accurate there but I like that the, the button is painted and uh, you can't really see it here, but if you, depending on how you place the saber, the blade in, it's a little crooked. Actually, I might have done it right this time, but you can see a little bit that it's just off a little bit. Not crazy, not a big issue of contention for a mass market toy. So, Black Series Luke, fine, 20 bucks. Not a fan of the, the cloth shirt. Um, little tailoring might bring that in a little bit if you're creative with how you tuck fabrics in here and there. But it really needs to be weathered and uh, just tighter fitting, I guess. Um, the sculpt of the face, like I said, it's not bad, but you don't realize it until you put it up next to the, the figure arts and just how inaccurate it is. It reminds me sort of a, well, a 90s Kenner face sculpt for Luke, which, you know, not great, but at least he's not derpy. The eyes look good. They've got his little mole. The uh, the hair color is pretty decent. Uh, it's not derpy, you know. So from a quality standpoint, it's okay. 
But once we go over this SH Figure Arts one, you will understand why this is a little bit lacking. And here is the Bandai Figure Arts Luke. Um, you're not imagining things. This is actually a six inch action figure, and I have to correct myself on the price. It was, uh, this retails for $79.99. So, yes, expensive. But, I mean, look at that face. It looks like Mark Hamill in every direction. It is absolutely remarkable. Everything is just spot on. You can see here that the articulation is a little better. You've got a double, you know, you've got a joint at the base of the neck and at the um, bottom of the neck. You've got a you know like these barbell joints, I can't think of a better term for them, but they're, you know, they got a ball on one side and a rod and a ball on the other and they pop it in the body and they use sort of a sheath to cover the gap here. Well, obviously that's what's going on here. And it's really nice, just every once in a while you have to be, you know, this can, this can, middle piece can rotate a little bit and not look as, as smooth as it should. But you get a good range of motion. And here, notice that the, the tunic, or whatever you want to call it, the shirt, is molded plastic, not fabric. So, inside the arms, there's actually um, arms inside the sleeves that move independently of the sleeves, at least from the elbow down, which is nice. They have, uh, the belt uh, has a lightsaber. There's no loop on this one, it just sort of clips on. You've got the communicator there. And uh, you know some some packets. There's a little difference in the the costume here that was on the st on the uh, black series one. There's a large vertical pouch that goes here, uh, and this this one does not have that. But flexible uh, skirt with tons of articulation underneath it. Again, really nice. The bandaged legs, uh, accurate looking shoes. Uh, this one has toe joints. So you can do a lot with the figure from that standpoint. So I think the joints are less obtrusive. The fin and finish is much nicer. And there's just a lot more going on here. But it's not just, the cost is not just about the figure. It's about the accessories as well. So he's got a, a variant face. And to, to do that, you just remove, the split the head in half. Take off that face. Put it back in like so. Just plug it together. And now you've sort of got goofy smiling Luke. You know, kind of, you know, when he's cleaning up R2 and 3PO. A little goofy, but cool. Uh, he's got some variant hands. So they just sort of pop off and he's got some casual hands that just sort of pop on. Once again, this is brought to you by Toy Source. And you can see now he's got some kind of just, I don't know, casual hands. I don't know what else you want to call them. Just gazing out. But wishing he was in a in a star battle above ta the twin sons of Tatooine. Looks nice, right? But wait, there's more. See this head? Take it off. Because you get a blast shield head. To do that, you just sort of stick any, either face will go in there. And with the blast shield down, how am I supposed to fight? Well, you use the force, you whiny brat. Then you take the uh, hands and you put on the uh, lightsaber holding hands. These uh, have an angle into them that's a little different. So you gotta just make sure you pay attention to how they go and they kind of tilt down a little bit. And you just unclip Luke's saber and 
put it in his hand. He's got his own blade. And he can grab it with both hands. But wait, there's more. He's got to fight the training drone. And this is a nice piece that you can either attach to a Tamashi stand. Um, doesn't look like this separates in any way. Which, or you can just sort of uh, clip it onto the lightsaber blade. So you can see you have the training drone. And it has a cool little blast effect. You've taken your step first step into a larger world. Oh, it's a nice touch. It, uh, I mean, it's up to you whether or not it's a $60 difference. Nice touch. But I think, you know, you get a lot of cool, neat extras with this figure on top of the better sculpt, more accessories, better paint, better likeness. It's really just all around the better figure. The Black Series one is okay, but not great. And maybe worth the 20 bucks. The Figure Arts Luke by Bandai is freaking amazing. So if you have the 80 bucks, he's worth getting. Now, you may say, well, Josh, is it, can I collect all the Figure Arts line? I mean, you can. But honestly, I find that most of the time, the Black Series is good enough, especially for characters without um, a human likeness. So, you know, your Boba Fett, your Bounty Hunters, your Stormtroopers, etc. 20 bucks. I love being able to go down to Walmart or Target and just grab one and then boom, it's there. It's quick and easy. It's not a huge investment. It's not a big letdown if they're not priced, you know, if they're not, so you get bad QC or, or, you know, in this case, the stupid shirt. But, I mean, since this is what they got, I mean, this is the better way to go. It's going to make all your other Black Series figures um, look bad in comparison. It's just a really phenomenal, well done figure that I wish. I mean, if, if, if Hasbro had done this with a sculpted shirt instead of that stupid cloth goods, that would have made that would have been a, a much tougher decision. But in this case, I mean, this is just gorgeous. It's better likeness, better paint, better articulation, more accessories, just more stable. It's just amazing. It's a really great figure. So once again, uh, the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker comes courtesy of ToySource.com. You can get yours there. Um, you, also, if you're interested in more Star Wars reviews, more figure arts views, etc., you should check out our channel uh, on YouTube, Collection DX. Also, the website of the same name will have a full written review with more in depth pictures. You can also catch us on all your favorite social media sites under the name Collection DX. Once again, this is Josh from Collection DX. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.